Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we've got two significant stories in science, both on climate and geomagnetic pole shifts, but we're also awaiting what NOAA has forecast as a level three solar storm for the overnight hours. Let's go ahead and start with the last 24 hours on our star. It was a calmer day. We don't have much in the way of solar flaring or continued plasma eruptions, but we've already got plenty on its way to Earth. Not only was there a CME released towards Earth about two days ago, but you can see the major coronal hole here. You can see it more here, and on the heels of the CME, the enhanced stream from this will arrive. Wow, that is big. So the endless spiral suggests impact should be happening any time now. I think we still have several hours to half a day to go. We'll have our eyes on the solar wind and on the various magnetic indices to monitor any impacts on the atmosphere or crust via induction. The longer it takes to arrive, the smaller the storm should be. The level three event would require impact to be soon. If it waits for tonight or tomorrow, it should be a lower event. And then of course, the powerful coronal hole stream is on deck right afterwards. Going to be an active week geomagnetically. By the way, I'm happy to blame the Russell McPherson effect for this asinine thing that happened two days ago, mostly because if it wasn't just the most insane example of the equinox auroral displays in history, it means the magnetic field is even more trouble than we realized. Heading next to the official first ever peer-reviewed AI climate paper. Some names veterans will recognize use grok to break down and pretty much debunk climate science, which is hilarious going to be a fun couple of years with these new tools. Top story today is this, the discovery of the Greenland Sea event, also known as the Vostok event, geomagnetic excursions, except this time they found it in Hawaiian sediment cores. That makes the event 60,000 years ago officially a global event, just like Gothenburg was revealed to be earlier this week. That means we now have a much more solid concept of the global nature of the Earth disaster cycle events, only the unnamed and Tianqi, the most recent event, and most recent to be discovered, have yet to be tied globally. FYI, this full event unfolding before 2050 here now on our planet is expected to be another global event with a likely devastation score around 7. Will be a medium event, but for us humans it's going to seem pretty bad. Pole shift conferences the next two months so you can learn more about what's happening, what's happened in the past, and what's about to happen in our near-term future. Dr. Robitaille will be at the grand opening, Dr. Dunning for Kings of Catastrophe the very next weekend. We have many ways to stay and the first cabins are coming very soon. Your other family reunion happens weekly. Fun events all the time. Call us. Visit ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.